this week we're going to be using multiplication and division to solve equations. Again, if you saw the video from last week, then you know that basically what it's all about is using the opposite operation to solve for the variable. That sounds like a mouthful, doesn't it? It just works like this. If you said 3 times a equals 15, you probably know that a equals 5. The way we do that, though, is because we're multiplying 3 times a to equal 15, we divide 3 into itself. And the reason we do that is because by dividing any number by itself, it equals 1, which is what we want. We want it to equal 1a. So how we get it to equal 1a is we divide 3 into 3, and that equals 1a. Remember that idea about what you do on one side of the equal sign, you have to do it on the other side? Well, we're going to do that again. You do this just like this. So this then says 1a equals, sorry, 5. Like this. And that's my answer. a equals 5. The way we check it, obviously, is to take that 5 and put it back right here. 3 times 5 equals 15. That's how you use division to solve a multiplication equation. Now, suppose you had one, just this is kind of review. It says something like 4a equals 12. What you would do in this case is you would divide 4 by itself so that it equals 1a. We want to know what 1a equals, what a equals. And so a now equals, well, if we did 4 on this side, we've got to divide 4 on this side. And a equals 3. I hate, I hate to keep saying that's all there is to it, but that's all there is to it. All right, now suppose we have one that starts off as a division problem. For instance, x over 3 equals 4. This basically is saying something, x, was divided by 3 and it equals 4. You know that it's 12 that was divided by 3 to equal 4. Well, the same as when you do the opposite, when you multiply, so then you have to divide. In this particular case, because we're dividing, we have to multiply. Basically, what you multiply in this case is what's called the reciprocal. The reciprocal is when you flip a fraction upside down. So in this case, since it's 3, we put the 3 on top and put a 1 on the bottom. And this comes out 3x over 3 or 1x. 3 into 3. Remember from the last time, 3 into 3 equaled 1. Okay. What we did on this side of the equal sign, we have to do the same thing on that side. Basically, we're going to multiply this times 3 also. And we're going to find out x equals 12. Okay, you want to see the shortcut? The shortcut goes like this. And what was it? X over 3 equals 4. Basically, you just have to say this times this equals 12. And that will tell you what this one equals. All right? But let's kind of stay away from the shortcuts for the time being. Because we really do need to multiply times a reciprocal. And so, again, just to show this one more time. If it said X over 5 equals 3. What would we do? We would multiply x over 5 times 5 over 1, the reciprocal of this, and we would come up with 5x over 5, or 5 divided into 5 equals 1x. We would do the same thing on this side and multiply this one times 5, and we would find out x equals 15. That's how you use multiplication to solve one that starts off as a division problem. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is what you do when we call a two-step problem. 